Hello everyone, this is Vicki Stitch and Button, and today is Wednesday, June 29th. It's almost the end of the month, which means that planning for next month has already started uh, in the stitching world for anybody that's in WIPGO and challenge groups, etc. So, and that's what I've done. Um, I haven't done much as far as... Uh, I, as far as anything, I feel like. I mean, I'm sure I've done stuff. But I I, I don't know if it's retreat hangover. Um, not feeling well. I know I wasn't feeling well for a couple of days. Not sick, don't. It's not like that. Just feeling a little run down. And maybe that's the flight. Maybe it's not. Maybe it has nothing to do with it. I don't know. I don't know. I just... Meh. Um... As you know, I don't get into politics and controversial stuff on my on my uh, channel, but it has affected me mentally. Reading, reading, I had to walk away from social media for not walk away like turn it off, but I just had to put it down and not read it for a couple of days it, because it was bothering me. Uh, so I've been staying in my own little world for the most part. I haven't even been going on Zoom that much. But don't worry, it's not, it's nothing major, it's just sometimes you just need to recharge your batteries and uh, just sit in your own head for a bit, right? So I have, I watched all of Obi-Wan Kenobi. I like it. There's some things I don't like. There's, I, I'm not... I'm a big fan, but I don't know every little detail in the timelines, so I know that there's an uproar about that from some people. I think they did okay. I also just watched Doctor Strange, the new one. I like the first one better. I'm feeling that Scarlet Witch has turned into a whiner. I mean, I understand her angst and stuff, but it's not real angst, it's imaginary angst that she's brought on to herself that's how I feel about it so it just I don't know I guess any reason to get a villain in there right even if it's not a real villain if it's somebody that's lost their way for a moment but it was okay it was okay um I'm glad I watched it. it's not like I was it just wasn't my favorite uh what else have I been doing I've been stitching not tons but I've been stitching I have not been sewing. I did, however, pull fabrics for my new set of bags, and I need to start cutting those. Also, in sitting by myself with myself, I've been thinking about different things to make. I, I think, uh, I feel like the project bags are waning in sales. And, I mean, it could be me. I'm not going to say it's not. But I feel like just in general and how many do you need type thing. So, I've been trying to think of different things to come up with to sell. And I've come up with um, three ideas so far. I haven't implemented either of them. Any, either, any of the three, I should say. But one's going to be easier to do that's not a problem the other ones are going to take me a little bit of thinking and testing to get it the way i want it uh so that's in the future it's it i don't know how soon in the future one could be sooner than than the other two but uh there's thoughts and i've been bouncing off ideas with friends and stuff like that and writing out little notes to myself so there's things there's stuff and things in doing that i've uh I don't know, I just, I guess I just haven't been motivated to get on the next set of bags right away. I do, I'm going to do it, you know, and so uh, that's going to happen this week. I need to start cutting out this week. But, uh, I just took a step back from the grind for the most part for the past couple of weeks. I'm okay. It's all good. It's all good. But I do have stitching. I'm going to start out by showing you, um, what I stitched it. Uh, the Sirens Retreat because I didn't show it with my little return video 
and then what I've stitched since then. Whipgo is called. Whipgo, uh, the numbers, that's that, uh, that's the uh, group from uh, Jesse Marie Does Stuff. And I can link it down below. I don't know that I have all the time. I don't think I have all the time, but I can link it down below if you haven't heard about it. Or if you want to get into it, it's up to you. Uh, it usually starts in the beginning of the year, but hey, if you want to catch up after six months, it's all up to you. I have uh, put randoms down that I either definitely want to stitch on or something that I probably wouldn't pick up unless it was called. It, there's a mix of them in there. So my goal is to try to get, okay, I started out with, I started out with about 72 whips for the year. My goal obviously is to finish some, which I have, but I also wanted to try to, to touch all my whips and put in 600 stitches. Six, yeah, 600 stitches in each whip for this year. Well, when I made my whip go board, it didn't matter what I really put on there because everything needed to be touched anyway. This just gave me a timeline as to when to do so. I have, let me see, there have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There have been 15 numbers called so far. That's counting July. And I've finished the goals for all but three. Two of them being in July that I haven't started yet. And one was in March. I've only done Facebook itchiness. I've only done um, 200 of the 500 stitches. Why? Why did I put five? I should have put 600 because that's the goal anyway. So I've been doing well over 500, obviously. It is what it is. Uh, Ship Concordia is the one that's only got 200 in there. I have 400 more to go on that, which I'll pick up eventually. What I also did was I had bought a trolley or a cart from Michael's. It was on sale, and I also bought the top that goes in the, uh, the wooden insert that goes in the top, which means I'm not using the top area for anything. Now you got me thinking. I got myself thinking. I don't know if I put anything in there. See, that's another thing. I probably didn't put anything in there because I'd forget that I put it in there and I'd never be able to find it and I'd drive myself crazy. You know, you put it in that safe spot. So, anyway, it's got three tiers. Top tier has my Cricut on it. The bottom two, I put my um, project bags on their sides, standing up, and uh, stack them up like that in there. So... What I did the other night was I took the ones that I've definitely done the 600 stitches on because I have a spreadsheet that I mark off. But I I took those and I put them down in the bottom shelf. And all the ones that I haven't done the 600 stitches on, I put on the top shelf. Well, oh, my nose is really itching. Uh, the bottom shelf need to be used for some of the extras that I couldn't fit in the top shelf, which is fine. It's fine. But it'll help me when I go to grab one because I kept on flipping through. I'm like, no, I did that one. No, I did that one. So I did a little bit of organizing. Not much because this place is a hot mess. I need to get my get myself together. I really do. It's fine. Um, anyway, so numbers 11 and 18. 11 and 18 were called... My number 11 for Whipgo is clockwork, uh, clock, uh, clockwork Butterfly. No, it's not. Oh my goodness, where's my brain? I need more coffee. I'm doing this earlier than normal. Clockwork Bird. Uh, you'll be seeing that come out for next month. I also have the Dragon and the Fairy. Now, Clockwork Bird is a panic kit that I started. The Dragon and the Fairy is... A chart from Joan Elliott, and I do believe Belinda Ozzy Stitcher gifted that to me. And we started that together, or she had it started already. I think we started that together. So those two will be getting at least 600 stitches, hopefully next month. And then other ones that I'm going to be pulling out, I have plans. Uh, Vader. From Stitch Area, used to be Stitch Line. 
the linen and threads 2020 sale yeah i haven't even finished january yet that's going to get at least 600 stitches also going to stitch on early americans and then uh coffee drinkers confession which is from heart street samplery it's one of the series so coffee drinkers confession after i do the 600 stitches on that i don't know that that wouldn't be famous with last words i don't know that that wouldn't be a finish for this year or i could push it into whatever so i have not had any finishes in the past two weeks fine i didn't expect any but i do have some stitching to show you let's get to it 10 minutes in of me babbling oh and it's going to be another minute or two. La uh, my last video, which was the follow-up to the retreat, I said that the uh, coffee kit from Mill Hill, I thought I said it. I think I said Jen gave it to me. Andrea gave it to me. Also, the Glendon Place uh, chart with the fabric, that was from Vicky um, reading and stitching. So just a little correction. I know everybody was hanging on the end of their seats waiting for that information. But, let's see. First up, I did a total of 600 stitches. And I think I did them half and half. Half at uh, retreat and half before retreat. And it was on 12 Days of Christmas from Plum Street Sampler. Which is a freebie on her blog. And... I am stitching it on 40 count oaken from Pictures Plus with uh, Victoria Motto threads that I pulled. She doesn't really give you a color palette. You just choose what you want. And those are the colors I chose. So that's the green and the red and the gold that I've chosen. And then there's also a black that goes in here smattered around. So that's how far I got. I got first and second day done. I started the little hen, the little buttless hen there uh for day three and that one is done for now i mean unless i don't know that it'll come back out because i still have a lot of whips to get 600 stitches in on so that's my focus is to try to get them all so that's that one i think it's looking pretty good i'm i don't know that i've worked on 40 count before i've had 40 count for a while but I haven't worked on it, and this is not too bad to stitch on, especially when you have, like, a, I have a John James Petite Needle, which, by the way, I just got in, and I don't even, oh, they're here. I bought a whole tube of 25 of them from Live and Die LA, and I can put that link below, too. Hang on. Where's my notes? Uh, yeah, Live and Die LA had a pack of 25 of them. I thought that they were reasonably priced. I think uh, under, I think they might have been $8 with the shipping. And that's all I ordered. So, um, let me write myself a note. And she had the John, she has a few different needles, but I got the John James. Uh, 26 petites. I think, I think they're 26s. Right, so. 40 counts great uh, to use those petites on or just the thinner needle anyway. I also worked on after retreat. This one was it this one was after retreat. No, I worked on it at retreat and after retreat. That's why it's out. It is uh, Silver Moon Tea from Mirabilia. I started this one last year, I do believe, when it, uh Laurel sent me this. I put in a total of 300, no, 814 stitches between uh, the retreat and after the retreat. I had to do some uh, challenges for a group. I, I belong to Stitching Adventure Group, which I can link below. It's team based and everything. We had a trial run on the month because it's pretty informational intensive so we had a trial run for this month and then it officially starts july so this is how far i've gotten on garden prater no what am i doing hang on i got the wrong picture 
Garden Prelude, which I bought <laughs> since I have all the stuff. Look, if you haven't met me, now you have. So anyway, Garden Prelude. That's this one. This is the one I did 1,253 stitches on. Yes, I did work on it at retreat and after retreat. And this is how far I've gotten. I am stitching it on 32 count um, fabric flare fabric called Northern Lights. It's the scenery. And this is the back end of the dress. So it'll look like she's on the edge of the shore on the rocks. The needle minder is from MBC Stitcher. Matt, he sent me that, and it matches this, so that's why I put it with this, with this, uh, project. I stitched, where did I stitch? I stitched a little bit here, which this needs to come out, by the way. It's a stitch too low, um, just that little bit. But, uh, I stitched there, I filled in a lot in here, and I worked my way over here. So I got a lot done. I also had to frog i'm trying to find it i'll put it on the board i had to frog this area here and i'm not done frogging though so i stopped there but the rest of this it's a tweed and apparently i tweeted the wrong two colors so i had to i put this in and i was frogging as i went along because this whole little area has to come out it's fine it's fine i think I don't think I made that mistake anywhere else. No. I didn't make the mistake anywhere else. It was just in that little area. And I had to stitch that area next. And so I just pulled out as I stitched in. And I'll, fin it. I'll fix it next time I stitch on it. But it is done. I mean, I met my goal for it for this year. So she may or may not come out. She's got a total of 1,253 stitches for the month, so she's done better than some than others. Let's just put it that way. I'm really liking the way it's coming out on that fabric, too. Okay, for real, Silver Moon Tea. Uh, I ended up putting in another 302 stitches on her. Did I work on her? I may not have, yeah, I took her, I did work on her at, at um, the retreat. So this is her. This is uh, 20, 32, 64, no, it's 32. <laughs> 32 count, fabric flare in a lavender, and this is how far I've gotten. I'm trying to think of what I worked on. Probably, I want to say I worked on yellows and oranges to fill in this area. I'm pretty sure that's all I ended up working on. I don't think I did on anything over here. I think it was all in here and the dark grays. But it's come along on that side. Uh, there is another border that goes around here that I have not touched yet. And she's gotten in a total of 623 stitches. So she's done for now i were i used her for full coverage friday at the retreat and then i did some more stitches once i came home to do a prompt of some sort yeah so she's gotten in her 600 stitches for the year she may or may not come out again it's over here because i got a lot Crap, and I already can't keep myself in line. Okay. For this full coverage Friday, I don't even know that I stitched technically on that Friday. I may have stitched on Saturday instead. But I put in a total of 304 half stitches on it. This project is uh, hashtag Jemima's fault. Waterhole Guardians. Jemima is doing Waterhole Masters. And I kept on looking at it and I have one similar. So I pulled it out. This is very similar to hers. Although her her animals are larger 
and more close up here where mine are the further away plus the clouds. But it's the same scenario. They're all at the waterfall, right? I started in the lower right corner and I am working on meerkat butt. Total, it's met its goal for the year because there's 1,513 half stitches, which is quick math, uh, 707, six full stitches, right? And I'm doing this on 25 count, two over one half stitch with this one in the DMC, meerkat butt and back. I did, I'm trying to think, I think I tried to do big blocks of color instead of the confetti this time. So I did some browns and I did black. And that's all the further I got. You can... It is. Don't worry, Jemima. I probably will pick this out again because every Friday is a full coverage Friday, right? So this one should come out again. Plus, the more I look at yours, the more I want to get something done, even on my other full coverages. So Jemima and I have talked about that. But even though I, I've been getting... I start stitching on the full... I want to stitch on the full coverage. And then I start stitching on, like, I'm not... I think because it takes me longer to do the amount of stitches than if it was on something that wasn't full coverage. And I think that slows me down and then makes me want to switch. But if I do it in small bits, eventually something's going to get done. Or not. I mean, there's options. Itchy nose again. Okay. So, that one's also done for the year, for the 600. And then I knocked out another one the other day. Uh, matter of fact, I finished up the 600 stitches yesterday. And it is the bookshelf from Little House Needleworks. This one is being stitched on, did I write it down? I don't know. It's on a Lugano, I think. Lamb's Wool, no, it's not a Lugano, it's a Joblin. It's a 32 count Lamb's Wool Joblin. And I'm doing two over two with the DMC. Called for DMC. The needle minder for Guardians is the Lay Miz, and that was from Live and Die LA. This needle minder is from Mad for Minders. And I put in some books. I finished the words. There were, there were the authors. I had to finish a couple of the letters here. I think I had to do all of Dickinson. A couple of stitches over here. The list of, list of uh, Wilder. I mean... The last of Wilder. Then I put in the whole line here. And then whatever you see in these books. That's what I put in. I am using the Diamond. Is it called Diamond? Uh, Metallic from DMC. Um, it's okay. It's. I mean all Metallics are kind of finicky. So what I found with it. Is I'll take a length. A shorter length of course. And I just thread it through one, like you would if you were doing a sewing needle. And then I go under a couple of stitches. And that way it's not going to come off the top, off the eye. And then I just have to cut at the end and pull it off the, the eye and the needle. But it works better that way. It doesn't it doesn't split as much or get uneven. So it it's easier to stitch with that way. I am, I was saying to a friend of mine that I'm actually happy with all of the, I love my, my hand dyed threads. I love them, but you don't notice it until you start doing something on plane. It's nicer on the eyes for the plane. It's easier. You're not worried about the, the color shifts on your focus. So it's a nice clean palette and it made for decent stitching. I, if you, I, I don't know, that, does that make sense? Clear as mud? I don't know. But that's that's how I felt with it. I was like, oh, look, it's not busy, you know? But I did get in the 600 stitches on this. Actually, I did 600 on the dot. And this one's done for the year. May or may not pick it up again. 
and uh, I looked at it and I was like, I could finish it this year. Now I could, but I don't have the time to with all the other goals that I have because it's not huge. Of course, famous last words. Oh, I could finish that. Yeah, until you don't. All right. So the bookshelf. Bear with me. You know, I put away my stuff as I go away, as I go because sanity. I don't have much of it. There's very little left. All right. Next up is Clockwork Dragonfly. That's a panic kit. I do believe I'm using their fabric that came with it. And I was able to get in another 300 stitches. For a total of 700 stitches, which also marked off my Whitco middle section. I, I didn't take a free spot. I, I used the middle for another piece because why? it's not like I don't have enough. I don't have any whips to put in there. Yeah, okay. So, I did a total of 300 stitches this last time and total 700 on it for the year. It is on an even weave. I think it's an off-white. And that's how far I got. I finished the top wing and all the back stitching. I, I'm not crazy about my back stitching. I think the back stitching looks great on better on the chart than what I did but it's staying there it's good enough it's not going in the Louvre so it's kind of finicky so this back stitching they'll go in between the stitches in the center at the top center at the side center at the mid dead center of a stitch and it makes it kind of hard to make them lay nicer but I did what I could, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I did start, because I was trying to get in those stitches that I needed for a prompt, I did start the bottom wing to get those stitches in. But I had finished the rest of this wing, and all this back stitching. There was a lot of back stitching. And then some on the side of the head. But there's more going on up here, so you can only do but so much. I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. This needle minder is available in my group. So I don't know if this one will come out again this year because I finished the stitches for the year on this one. And then last night after I finished the 600 stitches that I needed on the bookshelf, I still needed actually wee hours in the morning. I was I did not wake up until this afternoon because for the stitching adventure game, we're trying to get some stuff done and I needed to get 300 stitches done before I went to bed. So I threw them in this one. This is Star Spangled Happiness. This is a piece by uh, Nail Bling Designs, Teresa. And I don't have a note for myself. Okay, so this is being stitched on 32 count Americana. No, it's not Americana Frost. It is. Did I write it down? It is. I forget the name of it. Is it Americana Frost? It's not, it's, picture this plus. Anybody, anybody. America on a Froth is from Games of the Needle. And I have some of that, and that's not this though. I'm almost positive. This is, I think, the picture this plus one, and I forget exactly what it's named. Anyway, if you look, you'll find it. So. I am not using, what are they calling for? I don't even know what they're calling for. Weeks Dye Works, I guess. Not using Weeks Dye Works. I am using Victoria Motto threads. And 
these. I went for a brighter color palette this time. And that's how far I got. Basically, what I did was I did the word star, this yellow, all this blue, uh, a couple of the triangles here, which this one needs to come out because it is one stitch too high. And then I did this triangle here, and that equaled the 300 that I needed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to frog this after I'm done. And it, it, when I go to stitch tonight, I'm going to frog this out, fix it, and continue on probably finish this i also made a flub here by the way because the blue shouldn't be in those four spots on the sides it should have been a break it's fine i'm sure Teresa's not going to come choke me out maybe but she'll be fine it'll be fine it'll work uh the other four i'm looking at the chart right now i do believe the other four are supposed to look the same exact thing so apparently this is the way they're all going to look. Let me put this back. All right. That needle minder, the Love Wins needle minder, is available on my group. The colors, if you're interested, I don't know if you can still get them. It was a part of an Americana pack. Uh, the red is Centennial. The gold is Freedom Gold. You guys know I don't buy over dyed whites but it came with the pack and this one's called star spangled i swear she just grabbed some white and put it in there because it doesn't look like it's dyed at all uh maybe she rinsed it with water you know um this gold is liberty bell bronze so it's not gold it's bronze and this is betsy wells so those are the colors i have a lot with the prim colors and i figured eh, let's brighten this one up so that was that one, put this stuff in here until I'm ready to stitch later on today. All right, plans. Plans, plans, plans. January's, I mean, July's coming. January's, God, God, help me. Give me more coffee. Give me more. I haven't eaten yet today either, believe it or not. I woke up really late this afternoon. I usually wake up, I gasp, but uh, I usually wake up around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. In my defense, I don't go to sleep until 5, 6 in the morning. Today, I went to sleep later, and it was, apparently, it there was thunderstorms all day. Which equals, Vicky's going to sleep. Because I can sleep through a thunderstorm, and I think I sleep better when there's a thunderstorm. So I didn't wake up until 4. What time is it now? I'll tell you right now. 7.05, which means I am doing this way earlier than I usually do. By the time I'm finished doing my videos, it's usually like 11 o'clock at night or something. But I said, let me knock this out. I get this stuff put away. I'll be able to do something. Maybe. We'll see. You know, things like that. So, I have some purchases and some plans here. Obviously, I've pulled out Clockwork Bird and the dragon and fairy i have a pile over here of what i'm going to work on this month so it's easier to reach i may may have a new start now here's the reason why vicky reading and stitching gave me this chart by paul vaughn and because i've always said if i was going to do a paul vaughn the one i'd like to do is good neighbors that's this one Now, if you take notice, it's pretty much full coverage. I think even on full coverage fanatics, it would classify as a full coverage because the only thing that's not stitched are the white clouds. Everything else is stitched. Anyway, so in knowing that, I have decided I need to put it on white. And so I made a purchase, which I will get to in a minute. Let me backtrack, because squirrel, squirrel, be in my head. Uh, I may have a start, a new start, or two. I don't know. So good neighbors may be one of them. That's why I was bringing this out. Good neighbors may be one of them. There is also the little coffee, called coffee, coffee, heart, uh, mill hill kit that Andrea gave me. I've been sort of eyeing that up, so I put it away. <laughs> I put it in the bag with my Mill Hill kits. Um, 
It's with Winter Wonderland. Uh, the other one is... I've been gathering all the threads to do... Some of the... Tis Halloween stockings. So I've been, I just started gathering threads for it and I've got some more in. And so I have, I pulled 30 count Weeks Dye Works Cocoa. I have a half yard of it. So I think they're all going to go on the same color. And I call, I figured why not and do the called for threads. Thread drop, uh, thread keep that I made myself. So, anyway, so those are my thoughts. I've been going between the three, you know, every time I'm like, yeah, I want to start this one. And then I'm like, oh, well, maybe I want to start this. I don't know. But I feel like I may have a new start this month. Okay. Back to good neighbors. So, I needed to get white. I went shopping and I found Etsy. I mean, I knew about it. See, it's called 519. Fine, fine, uh, 519 finds. Okay. I just did a search for 32 count white even weave or Lugana. This came up and she had a sale on it. So I could not let that go. It was, oh, the price is on here. Anyway, it was an 18 by 55 cut. To be fair, when I went and cut it, one side's 18, the other side's only about 17 and a half. It's fine. I cut off the 18 side. I only needed 18 by 21. Cut that off, which gives me 36 by 17 and a half piece left over. And the price was right. It, it was discounted. I forget how much it was, but I was like, oh, that's cheap enough. Well, when you order from her shop, if you order $35 or more, you get uh, free shipping. Okay. So I went and ordered some of those over dyes, the, the Weeks and the um, Gentle Arts and a Classic Colorworks thread. Ordered those. Plus I also ordered, because, you know, I can't help myself. I ordered these cute little blue polka dot scissors. Because who doesn't need more scissors, right? Anyway, have not opened them because you know how dire need I was of scissors. Anyway, 519, I can put that in the notes too if you want to go check her out. She's a little online shop on Etsy. I don't know what other kind of sales she has. I only bought that. Some, some shops are one and done. Some are buy constantly off of, you know? I've got, I try to spread the love. I've got friends that have shops that I'd like to support them if I can. Um, I'm going to put this chart back in here. Alright. So this might be a start. I don't know. I have not done, that's one thing. I've had Paula Vons. I've gotten rid of the Paula Vons. But I've never done a Paula Vons. So that's one that I could do. Alright. Another purchase I made. Well, it only cost me 75 cents because I got a gift card or a gift certificate from Andrea uh, for the witchy stitcher. So I went through and I picked out two and they got wrinkled because I just threw them in the bin and they got stuff put on top of them. But it's only the cover sheet that I printed out. I got Master of Horror, Vincent Price, yes please. And then I bought, I think, yeah that's in color. Uh, well, Clarice had the lambs stop screaming. I love Silence of the Lambs. So, I got that one. And that one. Thank you, Andrea. I don't know when I'm stitching them. I've got to... Oh, wow. I'm going to go file that for now. Anyway. I... I do a lot of ironing, as you know. And I also do the Cricut stuff. And I keep on seeing people say, get a pressing mat. Which, it can't hurt to have one, right? So I went on eBay, no. I went on 
Amazon, and I ordered a pressing mat. Well, this one came with a whole little shebang. So, I just wanted to give you guys a... I don't know if anybody's shopping for one, but, I, you know, I'll share my opinion. So, you get this little silicone mat. This is supposed to be... You're buying this. It's supposed to be... I don't know if it really is. They say it is. 100% wool from New, New Zealand sheep or whatever. So, that's the mat. Seems okay. I think it's about a half inch thick. And then you get some extras for buying that. One of them is this silicone iron mat. I have one that actually has a little bit higher nubbies. It's up there for an old time iron that I own. So, I mean, it can't hurt to have. I can probably use it on something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this says it's a portable pressing mat. Easy to use. Blah, blah, blah. It also might give out a... a slight wool smell so they also give you this little pouch it's got stuff in it one thing i did find is the snap's broken the first time it only half pulled out this time it all the way pulled out and there was a they give you this this and this one of the pins from here was actually in the outside pocket and then the rest of this was put in here. So I'm thinking that this may have been a return for whatever reason. Now, also, the outside pocket is... Okay, so the bag is shit. It's no big deal. It It's extra. You're, not, you're actually paying for the mat. This is cute. It's a measuring tape. It's got centimeters and inches. I've got a couple of these um, that I use all the time. So these are probably suspect. I don't know how sharp they are. They cut paper, but it doesn't mean anything because usually it's threads it doesn't like to cut. But if they don't work, I'll toss them in the trash. So also sewing pins. You could always use those unless they don't actually poke through good. Because I've had that happen with cheap pins. All overall, I don't think it's a horrible purchase. So you get a crappy little bag. Um, oh, here's the other part of that snap, by the way, that fell through. Uh, you get a crappy little bag, but as long as the mat works, that's good for me. The rest is all just extras. I can link it down below if you're interested in getting a crappy bag, but a good pressing mat. So, I might be able to press that back in, that snap. Doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, I'll link it down below. I also bought, because of ideas that I'm coming up with for the future, I went and purchased a uh, grommet eyelet kit. So now I have silver and gold. And then I went on and was like, oh, they have colors. So, then I got some colored ones, too. I am not going to use a... This, this actually is a whole other kit, too. But this has a whole hammer, and I'm not doing that. I'll use the pliers. That's what the pliers are for, right? Uh, so, that is what I bought. I'm looking around. But, you know, I got to do the look around. Not to reach around, but the look around. Oh. And, uh, the petites from Live and Die LA that I mentioned earlier, they come in this little handy-dandy vial that you could also use for your crack. I mean, funny story. Okay, let's go with a Vicky funny story. Uh, when I lived in South Philly, our Chinese, uh, food places, our Chinese food restaurants, they are usually behind the bulletproof glass. Anybody who lives in a big city knows that they have the big bulletproof glass and the little roundy thing that they put your food on and stuff like that. I personally think it's some of it. I know it's not authentic, most of it, but it doesn't matter. This is what I grew up on. This is what I love. One of the things that I ate when I went up to visit my mom before she passed, I had a whole food bucket list and it was some Chinese food from Philly. That was filled, by the way. So, anyway... 
when I was living in the South, I feel like my kids were little too. I'd go to the corner place to get some, probably sesame chicken, because that's my go-to. And they have a whole bunch of stuff on this shelf above them. And it's you, blunt papers. And one of the things that they had were glass vials. And the glass vials had, they were about this size. And it had a little plunger on each end. I think it was just a little plastic plunger on each end. So it made it a glass tube, which is AKA a crack pipe. That's what this reminds me of. So knowing that they're crack pipes and me being a smart ass, I'm sitting there waiting for my food. The girl had gotten new stuff and she goes and puts stuff up on the shelf where she's a little bit shorter. So it's kind of hard for her to reach. So she's sort of like putting it on the edge and pushing it onto the shelf and in doing that she knocked down the whole oh the vials that these that they sold it they you know because they can't just put you know crack pipe a dollar they it's a little rose it's one of those little um what they call the silk roses that you on the wire so they put that in there and it's they sell it for a dollar or two dollar whatever it is this was years ago <laughs> she goes and put and the whole display for those little roses, fell down on the counter, and I turned around in front of me and a friend of mine were in the store, and I turned around and was like, oh, you dropped your crack pipes, <laughs> and the girl I was with lost it. The girl behind the counter did not see the humor in that, but my whole thing with that was, if you don't want to have to use bulletproof glass like that, one of the things you might want to do so it's not so necessary is not sell drug paraphernalia at your establishment. I mean, call it crazy, right? Anyway, so that's my little crack pipe story. I am done for the next two weeks, apparently, and I'm pretty sure you were done with me for probably longer than that. But I want you to come back. So, if, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything, I, of course, welcome them. And if you need any direction on anything that I've mentioned or I've totally confused you, contact me. I'll try to help. I will. Uh, another little side note, my Stitching Button group, it is close to a thousand, uh, members. Once it gets to a thousand, I'm already starting to think now but once it gets to a thousand i do want to do a giveaway on the group not on here but on the group so if you have not gone over and joined the group go ahead and do so that's where i put all my bags and my needle minders and i've got froggers and threaders and i'll be putting the new items up once i come up with them but i have a whole bunch of stuff all in the albums another side note on there oh my goodness squirrel for those that use Facebook and use Facebook groups and use Facebook albums in the groups, it looked like they disappeared with the out. Unless you were on their laptop, you couldn't find the albums. I did find out through a friend of mine the other day that if you're on your phone, in, your, in the group that you want to be in, and you want to find the albums, there is an icon in the top left corner. It's got three little lines. If you tap that, then you can tap on albums and find all the albums. Why they change it up? They they know I am feeble-minded and <laughs> they like to mess with me. That's my answer for that. Okay, now I'm done. I hope everyone is doing well. And don't forget, don't let anyone steal your sunshine. See you in a couple weeks.